It's very cold. It's very damp here in Orland, California. It's about an hour 40 north of Sacramento for those wondering. The field is as muddy as I've ever seen it. And there's a lot of pressure for these Shafter Generals tonight. They're competing for their first ever state championship, but they say diamonds form under pressure. And for a team that's faced as much of adversity as these Generals have, well, they're pretty rock solid. Shafter's 2022 season was always going to be an adventure. Some days I have great expectations and some days I wonder if we're going to be able to tie, it, tie our shoes and chew bubble gum at the same time. With only five seniors and a 15-year-old quarterback, some were thinking this would be a bit of a rebuilding year. But it's a lot of no-names that we're hoping that become names. Four straight victories out of the gate, including a win to usher in their new home, quickly changed that narrative. Then came league play and with it, losses to Chavez, Taft, Ken and bitter rival Wasco. Uh, back to the drawing board, but definitely a game that we let slip away. The late season slide forced Shafter to play as an eight seed come playoff time. Surely it was only a matter of time before a senior laden team showed these youngsters the door, right? Turns out sometimes ignorance is bliss. They really do believe that they can fight themselves out of any situation. And uh, that comes from, I just think, a little bit of stupidity, I think, and not and, and, and lack of experience. After throwing four touchdown passes in his first postseason game, freshman quarterback Ezekiel Osborne, with his cool, calm, collected approach, took the central section by storm. Um, I've always been taught to just, no matter what, it's always 68 and breezy. You're always the same. It doesn't matter what situation you're in. Yeah, he was made to do that right there. First, it was back-to-back -back one point road wins, setting the stage for the city's first Valley Championship since 1955. I think it's a testament to them. You know, there were a young team, so is there ever going to be a time where they figure that the, what they're doing shouldn't be doing what they're doing with how they're doing it, but they just continue to, to, to figure out a way. I mean, I, and I think it just comes out that they're very much together. It looked like midnight had finally struck for the Cinderella squad at Carruthers. Osborne and the Generals found themselves down 21 points in the second half. For most teams, that's a death sentence. For the newly minted Cardiac Kids, that was just the beginning. The comeback, 67 years in the making, as a football community of just over 20,000 erupted. We've been a road team this whole year, so our kids are comfortable getting on a bus and playing in front of other people's crowds and um, I mean it's it's obvious tonight I mean it's obvious this whole run I mean we we win two games by one and we come down and I mean we win this one by six points and it was closer than six points and we had every opportunity to give that away and and we figured out a way to win with all eyes shifting towards state Perucci called any win after Valley pure gravy and it seems these boys weren't quite finished eating I'd say this is the closest team I've ever been on I've been playing football for seven eight years and these are my brothers. I love them so much. When the pressure comes, they lean in on each other. They, all the outside noise goes away, and they just get tighter and tighter and tighter. The more pressure, the tighter they become. And right on cue, Perucci's crew had to make it interesting again. Down by double digits to Walnut High, the generals rallied yet again. This time, coming home with their first ever state playoff win. We go to work every day. We grind every day. And uh, to come down here and just get a win in the way that we did it, I think is just awesome. With a week to process and prepare, it's on to Orland in rain-soaked Northern California. I don't know what to feel. This community just deserves it. And for me, I was just very happy to be able to give not only the kids the, the payoff for all their hard work, but also the community a payoff for, you know, just their, all their believing and, and constant, constant cost of support of the program. Well, like so many championship games, this could come down to the play of the two quarterbacks on the field. For the Shafter Generals, you saw him right there. 15-year-old Ezekiel Osman. He's been a force all year long. Some 32 touchdowns, over 3,000 yards in the air. Statistics unheard of for a freshman quarterback. On the other side, it's Grant Foster. They run an offense, the Trojans. Like they're straight out of 1955, he runs the ball exclusively, but almost 2,000 yards on the season and 30 touchdowns. This should be a showdown for the ages.